In fact, I couldn't move my uh, legs after the workout yesterday. So can't lift my arms today, so uh, it's gonna be a studio vlog. I know I said studio stuff, but like the light in my room is pretty bad, so we'll do this today. Let's address the elephant in the room, or the elephant on the roof, which is whatever happened to me trying to learn German on my own. I know I'm fairly certain like all throughout the year in my goals video and throughout my hobbies video I've been saying that I'm trying to learn German on my own. I chose to learn German because I wanted to learn a new language. Main reason for that was that I wanted to travel to Germany and when I wanted to, when I travel to Germany I want to be able to speak German to some extent. And I want to talk about uh, my top three things that I've discovered when trying to learn a language and things you shouldn't do. The first and foremost thing is don't rely only on apps. Apps like Duolingo are good in terms of throwing words at you and they're good for rote learning. I don't particularly find them immersive enough to understand the constructs of a language which is very important if you want to communicate. Second thing that you should do or you shouldn't do is shy away from speaking on day one. A lot of people wait for you know a few classes uh, or to get to some proficiency level before they actually start speaking it, start speaking from day one. That's the number one thing you should avoid is to shy away from speaking in your target language. Find uh, people who will help you out like on italki. It's okay even if you're on day one, you can't say my name is Aditya. It's okay. Not fair as I could have done this, but... Uh, don't go inside. Oh, don't go inside. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, quick update. There's a very big bee that's just gone into the room. Right now, it's... I think it sees greenery but there's glass on that side so it doesn't know how to escape out. Okay, where was I? Second thing, so don't shy away from like speaking on day one. And the third thing is immerse yourself daily or rather find ways to immerse yourself daily which means watch videos on day one, listen to podcasts on day one. Again, something that people don't do on day one is start immersing themselves in languages. Label everything around you in like your target language. These are traps that you should avoid when trying to learn a language on your own. Don't just rely on apps, start talking on day one in the target language and immerse yourself in the target language. Today is Sunday and so most of my time is gonna be spent trying to actually kind of finish that Medium article that I spoke about. I'm not planning to go out anywhere uh, for sure because my legs hurt. Uh, it's a miracle I'm standing so far. The second thing I got to do is I'm lagging behind of my book of the month. I don't think I've ever spoken about the book of the month with you guys but I'll talk about it in maybe another video on another day. You guys are welcome to actually stay and watch me do all these things but it's going to be pretty much on the desk. 